Hi, it's John here, and this is a bonus video to give you just a quick introduction to cPanel so you can see how powerful it is and uh, see what you can do with it and when you might need to get in here and use it. So I've come to my website and you get here by literally typing in your domain name, putting on the end of it slash cPanel, uh, as we mentioned in a previous video. Once you've logged in, you come to this screen and it um, prompts you with this box, welcome new user. Um, you can go through here and you can actually um, get some guides, you can get some help walking through everything. Or you can just say, no, I'm fine, thanks. What I normally do is I'll check this box, don't show this again. And then when I come in here in the future, it won't bug me. If you do want to come in here and you want a little bit more help again, you've always got the video tutorials. So a few things that you're going to want to look at. First one will be the email accounts. If you want to set up emails on your new domain, this is where you would do it. You'd come in here, you would click email accounts and you can create whatever email you want to. You can have them forwarding to an existing email address or you can set up completely new mailboxes in here. Um, I'm not gonna take you right through how to do it. Remember there's the video tutorials, they'll help you on every step. But be aware that if you want an email account for this domain, this is where you do it. We also have files. So we can back up all the files if we want to. We can actually go in and look at the files on our hard drive. I would actually recommend that you're better off using FTP to do this and using FileZilla. But if you need to, you can come in here and do it. You can um, manage how much disk space you're using. You can also set up your FTP accounts. Now normally you'll just use your default FTP account which is the same as your cPanel login. But if you have somebody doing some outsource work for you, you might want to set up um, a separate FTP account for them so that if for any reason you stop working with them, either because the contract comes to an end or because you fall out with them, you can delete that account and they don't know your login details. We have logs, we're not going to worry too much about those but they're here if you want them. Um, we have security section, we can password protect certain directories if we want to. Um, again, don't worry too much about it. The interesting section is domains. Because in here we can set up subdomains. So you might have um, yourdomain.com, but you might want to have a another domain called um, myawesomenewproduct.yourdomain.com. And you would come in here and this is how you would set it up through the subdomains option. If you ever need to manually set up a MySQL database, you can do that from this section here. You don't have to, if you're going to just use WordPress, I know WordPress works with MySQL databases, but you don't need to know how to set it up. And uh, I'll come on to that in another video. You then have the software and services section. And there's a huge amount of stuff that you can do in here, a huge amount of configuration. The one that we're going to be really interested in and where we're going to have a look in another video is the Fantastico. Um, in fact, you know what, we'll come back to that in a moment. And we have an advanced section at the end. Don't worry about the advanced section. <laughs> okay, so let's have a quick look at Fantastico. Now we'll be going through this in more detail when we come to install WordPress because the whole point of Fantastico is it gives you access to different pieces of software without you having to know how to install them. So you can see WordPress is on this list. Okay, So I can click on that and I could go through, uh, if I want to, I can go through a complete um, new installation, a complete installation of WordPress. But we can set up other things if we want to. So you might install WordPress on your main site, but then you might install a subdomain of support.yourdomain.com and you might want to have something like um, OS Ticket maybe to be your support desk. Okay. We've got e-commerce, so if you want to install a shopping cart application, you can just do it all down here. And uh, there's a whole load of other things. You can install, install a wiki. You can install site builders, project management software, everything that you could want is in here. Um, what I would recommend is that if you're interested in this, 
that you come in here and you spend a little bit of time looking through what's available and in every single one they will give you a link to the home page so if you want to know what um, PHP list is for example you can click on it and then you could go to the website and you can find out more about it so that's Fantastico if we want to go back to the C panel we just click control panel that's all there is to it like I say if you want more information just come in here click on the video tutorials I'm John Landells from Internet Marketing with John at www.johnlandells.com and I'll see you in the next video.